But here's what I'd like to hear from our politicians. This country, the United States, I'm sorry if you're from somewhere else, okay, still is the best country in this planet, particularly regarding business. We have the best military on the planet, and we will for decades. We have the best universities on the planet. The rest of the world's coming up. We have among the best. We have the best rule of law on the planet. You don't spend a lot of time worrying about corruption or ownership until recently in this country. And I, though I, think, the, I think the tort system is polluted. We have the best businesses, large, medium, and small. We have somehow started this debate that small and big are against each other. They are not. They're symbiotic. When Boeing was going to build that plant in South Carolina, 4,000 jobs in the plant, 20,000 outside. The outside jobs are mostly small business. Jobs appear in small business, not always created in small business. We are not looking at facts. We're making decisions for the wrong reason. Our big businesses, most of them, are world class. Now, I'm not talking about J.P. Morgan, but you take Boeing, Johnson & Johnson, Walmart, GE. These are among the best businesses in the world. And big businesses are philanthropic. They're charitable. They're diverse. They pay their people better, which I thought was a good thing. They have medical insurance, not just for their employees. Most of us employ, you know, insure a lot more than just our employees. These are wonderful institutions. And like any institution, including the military, media, and Congress, sometimes there's a bad apple. And yet we denigrate the whole institution. People around the world would give their arm and a leg to own these companies. Okay, so they're symbiotic, they're great companies. We have the deepest, widest, most transparent capital markets in the world. Yes, there were some flaws. We should fix them. We should punish people if they committed a crime or, or made a terrible mistake. This country is the best place for, for business on the planet and the best country is the most free, it's the most open. That's what we should be talking about. And, you know, and if you ask, you know, I've worked on Wall Street most of my life. If you ask most people on Wall Street, they don't mind paying. We, we're not, well, they say, I don't know, Warren Buffett gets mostly dividends and in interest income, which is why it's his 17%. But most of us, wage earners, okay, <laughs> are paying 39.6%, and now I guess it's going to be 12 or something in New York and the state. 50%, I don't mind paying 50%. And just like President Obama, I would love to lift up the poor, the impoverished, the inner city school kids. But we still want a meritocracy. We still got built. We have a wonderful country, and that's what we should be doing: helping people get by. That's all. And so, yeah, that's why I'd be talking about if I was a politician running, which I'm not, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, acting like everyone who's been successful is bad, and that you're because you're rich, you're bad. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. 